little fox. The Wind in the Willows, Episode Twenty One, Waking Up Badger. Rat and Mole waited for the door to open, but it didn't open any further. Who woke me up? Cried an angry voice. Can't a badger get some sleep? Oh, badger! Said Rat. Let us in. It's Rat and my friend Mole. We lost our way in the snow. Suddenly, the door swung wide open. Why, Ratty, come on in! Cried Badger. Lost in the wild wood, my friends, you are soaking wet. Badger quickly shut the door behind them. Badger wore a long dressing gown. On his feet were large slippers. He held a candle in his paw. Thank you, Mister Badger," said Mole. Badger looked kindly at Rat and Mole. Come into the kitchen, he said. There's a fire and some supper too. Badger led them down a long hallway. I am so hungry, Mole said to Rat. Me too, agreed Rat. Here we are, said Badger. He held open the door to a cozy kitchen. Sit by the fire, Badger told them. Take off those wet coats, boots too. Badger gave them robes and slippers to wear. Now let me get you some dinner. Badger brought them plates of hot food. Soon. They were warm and dry. Mole looked at Badger's friendly face. I have finally met Badger, thought Mole. The Wind in the Willows, Episode Twenty Two, Up Late. Rat and Mole ate in Badger's warm kitchen. No one spoke until the plates were empty. We are sorry that we bothered you," said Rat. "I'm glad to help," said Badger. Badger gave them some tea. "Now tell me," said Badger, "how is Toad?" Rat was surprised. Normally. Badger did not talk about river bankers. How's Toad? Said Rat. Not good. He crashed another car last week. Said Mole. He's a very bad driver. Said Rat. But he thinks he's the best in the world. How many has he had? Asked Badger. Do you mean crashes or cars? Asked Mole. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing," laughed Rat. Seven. His yard is full of broken cars. He went to the hospital three times," said Mole. Soon he'll run out of money," said Rat. Or he'll get killed. Shouldn't we do something?" said Mole. Badger rubbed his chin. The other animals will have to help, but we must wait until spring," he said. "In winter, all the animals are too sleepy." Rat and Mole nodded. "I'm sleepy," said Rat. "It's time for bed." "I'm sleepy too," yawned Mole. "Come along," said Badger. Badger led them to their beds. Badger was right. In winter, animals can't do anything too active.
The Wind in the Willows Episode 23 Rabbits Never Help The whole riverbank was worried. Rat was away all night, said a squirrel. Mole is gone too, said a robin. Maybe they went to the wild wood, said a deer. When Otter heard, he was worried too. Can you find them? asked the squirrel. I'll look for Badger's house, Otter told them. When animals get in trouble, he often helps. The wild wood was cold and empty. Otter found no one to ask for news. Then he saw a rabbit hopping by. Did you see my friend Mole? asked Otter. Ah! screamed the rabbit, turning around. You scared me! Have you seen Mole? Otter said again. Well, said the rabbit. Why do you ask? Don't play games, said Otter. Did you see him? Ugh. Otter hit the rabbit on the head. Ow! cried the rabbit, rubbing his head. You mean Rat's friend? The rabbit laughed. <laughs> I told all the other rabbits. They thought it was very funny. Mole got lost and he was so scared. <laughs> Why didn't you do something? Otter asked. Like what? Asked the rabbit. Take him in. Help him, said Otter. What? Us? Said the rabbit, confused. You expect us rabbits to help anyone? Shaking his head, Otter hurried on. The Wind in the Willows Episode 24 The Hedgehogs In the morning, Rat and Mole slept late. They got up and went to Badger's kitchen. Two little hedgehogs were eating breakfast. The hedgehogs stood and bowed. Oh, please sit down, said Rat, yawning. Why are you here? asked Mole. We were on our way to school, said the older hedgehog. Mother made us go, said the younger hedgehog. She always makes us go. Even in a storm said the older hedgehog. And? said Rat, breaking eggs into a pan. We got lost, said the older hedgehog. We saw Badger's door and knocked. Suddenly, the doorbell clanged. Billy, the younger hedgehog, answered the door. Noisy stomping came from the hall. What's all the excitement about? said Mole. Then, Otter burst into the kitchen. He jumped on Rat and hugged him. Here you are, shouted Otter. Get off of me, yelled Rat. Rat's mouth was full of toast. Otter let go and Rat coughed. <coughs> the whole riverbank is worried, said Otter. Nobody knows where you two went. Did they send you to look for us? asked Mole. Of course, said Otter. Otter gave Mole a hug too. The Wind in the Willows Episode 25 Badger's Big House Badger heard the noise and came from his study. Hello, Otter, he said. Is it still snowing? Just a few flakes, said Otter. Okay, boys, time to go home, Badger said. Billy and his brother put on their mittens. Goodbye, Goodbye. cried the hedgehogs. 
After they left, Rat and Otter sat together. They loved to talk about the river. I love your home, Mole said to Badger. It's so much like my own. Badger took some bacon from the pan. An underground home is always safe, he said. Oh, yes, Mole agreed. Nothing can happen to you, said Badger. And if your house is too small, you just dig a little, said Mole, smiling. Come, I'll show you, cried Badger. Right this way. Badger took a lantern from the wall. He went down a hallway. Mole jumped out of his chair and followed. Badger showed Mole many rooms and hallways. Look at all the rooms you have, said Mole. He was amazed by the size of Badger's home. This room is as big as Toad Hall, Mole said. The next room was as small as a closet. Each hallway led to more rooms. Incredible! How did you do all this? asked Mole. I didn't do it, said Badger. You didn't? asked Mole, confused. The Wind in the Willows Episode 26 The Story of the Wild Wood Badger and Mole stopped. They stood in one of Badger's many tunnels. Some of the wall was brick. There were stone arches overhead. You didn't build it? said Mole. What do you mean? The wild wood was once a city, said Badger. People walked, talked, and slept here. People? asked Mole. Yes, said Badger. They built a grand city with towers and walls. They thought it would last forever. What happened to them? asked Mole. Who knows? said Badger. People come, stay for a bit, and go. That is their way, but animals remain. What happened to the city? asked Mole. Plants grew in the empty streets, said Badger. The buildings fell and trees took root. Soon soil covered the stones. And the animals came back? asked Mole. Yes, said Badger. The wild wood was full of animals again. When I came, I just dug out the rooms I needed. But why is the wild wood so scary? asked Mole. Well, said Badger, there are all kinds of animals. Some are good and some are bad. Mole thought of the faces in the wood. I know, he said with a shiver. <laughs> Don't worry, said Badger. You're my friend. I'll tell them all not to bother you again. The Wind in the Willows Episode 27 Out of the Wild Wood Mole and Badger returned to the kitchen. Rat was walking up and down in his coat. I want to get back to my river, said Rat. But Rat, said Mole, Badger's home is lovely. Rat really wanted to leave. I can't stay underground this long. Come on, Mole, Rat said. We must go before it gets dark. Don't worry, Rat, said Otter. I know every path in the wild wood. I can lead you home at night. But I want to go now, yelled Rat. All right, said Mole. Let me put on my hat and boots. You can use my shortcut, said Badger. 
You won't need to walk through the wild wood. Badger took his lantern and led the way. Otter came too. The dark tunnel seemed to go on forever. Finally, Rat cried, I see daylight! Here we are, said Badger at the tunnel opening. He pushed them through and waved goodbye. Otter piled some leaves to hide the hole. Just behind them was the wild wood. Mole looked at it and shivered. I'm glad I'm out of there, he said. Well, I'm going home, cried Otter. And he ran down a trail. The two friends started home. Suddenly, Mole stopped and sniffed. Something smelled safe and familiar. Oh, Ratty, please stop! Wait! cried Mole. But Rat kept walking.